Hello and welcome to Harvey's Sort of Randomness. I'm Harvey, your host. Uh, now, in this video, I'd like to talk about how I use Windows 7 safely in 2025 and all the modern stuff I can I can still do, and 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 you can still do if you choose it. Uh, of course, uh, a, a few days ago, um, on the, on the 14th of October, Windows 10 stopped getting support, and uh, I don't much like Windows 11 to be honest, and the hardware I have. Um, w wouldn't support it either, but uh, but that's fine because I've got Windows 7. Anyway, so it's what can I do? Um, web browsing could be the first one. Uh, gaming. What modern games still support Windows 7? To my knowledge, that is. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure plenty still do. Minecraft still does, wh which we shall get into. Um, oh yeah, of course, anti malware software. If I can type. Um, and just other general software. Um, you know, like Audacity, for example, which I have here. Um, so, web browsing, the first one. Now, I have two web browsers here that are fully up to date. Um, the first one, the, the one I heard about first, it's called Supermium, which is based on Google Chrome. It is essentially Google Chrome, and uh, if a fork of it, and it's designed to run on Windows XP and above. They've even one of their goals I I, I saw was to to get a, a ver version for, for Windows 2000, which I think is awesome. Uh, but yeah, and it's a fully modern web browser this if I go uh, about Supermium we'll see that um, it's uh, it is fully up to date that is if, if they do count the the, um, the version numbers as, as Google Chrome does but um, I, I don't know but trust me <laughs> Anyway, the other one, which I recently discovered and I moved to my main browser, is Redfox, which is a fork of Firefox. Of course, until recently, uh, Firefox still supported Windows 7, um, but obviously that, that has stopped. So, so over time, web compatibility with, with, with the, the latest version of Firefox, ESR, will you know, decline. Um, but, um, but here it is. Um, and, and it very much is the latest version of Firefox. As you can see, this is version 142.0.1, 64-bit. Um, I'm not sure if it does work on Windows XP. I haven't tried it. I, apparently, I, do, I think I, I read on the website that it doesn't. Um, and, and they seem to have some problems with, with the 32-bit version of this. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's see... Red Fox is designed by Eclipse Community, a global community working together to keep the web open, public and accessible to those who use Windows 7 slash 8 and Vista as well. Um, yeah. So that's that. Now even <laughs> the uh, software that came with the G GPU drivers, I've got a really on RX 550 series GPU in this computer. And even the software has its own web browser. Oh, I'm, I'm busy away here, but um, we, we, yeah. Uh, I I don't know how up to date it is, but um, if you have a Radeon RX 550 um, series GPU, then this could be an option, I suppose. Uh, right, and then that com concludes web browsers, I suppose. Um, I do also have Intex Explorer 11 because that's the latest, and, and and you need it for certain web, web compatibility anyway uh, in other web applications other than browsers. So, uh, next um, thing was gaming, yes, video games. I do like myself a nice video game. Uh, I, I've got a few here. 
uh, although they are, they aren't the latest ones, but doesn't matter. They're still very good. Assassin's Creed, I've been playing. Star Wars Battlefront, as well, which is a very good game. Um, but modern games that I have, um, I've only really, really got one that I play. Uh, is is Minecraft. Now the launcher for 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 uh, for, for, for Windows Seven isn't the latest Minecraft launcher. It is the l legacy launcher, but um, it does still work, as you can see. And um, it does say at the bottom Mojang is ending support for Minecraft launcher for Windows Seven, Eight, and Eight Point One. You will continue to receive updates until March of 2025. Lovely. Well, <laughs> that's obviously um, past us. Uh, we recommend that you move to Windows 10 or higher. Well, of course, m moving to Windows 10 is, isn't really a, a good option as that's just had its support ended. And unless, of course, you get the uh, extended support. Uh, uh, now, it, it does still support the latest release, which is 1.21.10, and I should just prove it for you in case you're skeptical. And, uh, here's my world. Uh, yep, this one I've been building a, uh, a hobbit hole. And here I am inside the uh, the hill I've been carving up for my hobbit hole. No, um, obviously screen recording, uh, especially with the webcam here, is going to slow things down a bit. So uh, now the hardware is, of course, is going to is what's going to affect performance, as we should know, not the actual, well, not really the operating system. as much because I only have like four gig uh, I only have four gigabytes of RAM for example of course uh, I think Windows 7 can support up to 16 gigabytes now in the system I've got I think it can support up to 8 but I haven't got um, four sticks of DDR2 RAM so, uh, so for the moment, it, but it's fine, you know. Uh, obviously, not screen recording whilst playing. This is going to uh, improve uh, performance and stuff. But um, yeah. Now on to the third thingy of importance, very important, I must say as well, anti-malware software. Now, to my knowledge, um, last time I checked, certain anti-malware software like, for example, Mal Malwarebytes or Bitdefender does still support this system, although that may have been possibly just over a year ago, or, or, or it could have been just a matter of months ago. I have honestly forgotten. But uh, as you can see, I currently have Norton 360, so, yeah. And which obviously still supports this system, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so, so those are some options for you. Uh, now, other general software, for example, Audacity, as I mentioned, um, does still support Windows 7 and VLC Media Player. Of course, you won't get uh, the latest version of SketchUp. The latest version I, 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 might, I might manage to get, the latest free version, that is, is 2017, but if you just got it for fun, that's you know it's fine, because yeah. I because that's all I use it for anyway. Um, so this is version 3.7.5, which my knowledge is the latest version. Um, yeah, and honestly, I don't I don't really like the the look of the uh, the version four um, that they're developing. Um, so I might even stick to this one. That's just something else you, that you can do if if you don't need or or if you can't get the latest software. You don't have to see which version. 
uh, 3.0.21 useful software like uh, Shotcut for example is a video editing software that uh, I expect I'm going to use for this video to cut out all the slip ups and everything and uh, waiting time just to speed the video up a little bit um, there is um, also of course for your office stuff Microsoft Office now uh, the latest version apparently is version 2016 which is what I've got installed and it works perfectly fine so for my uses Windows 7 is perfect the software use doesn't always need to be the latest version of it so long as it works well but but as you can see um, a lot of software still does support Windows 7 uh, five years later so that's good and I'm not, I haven't really got much else to say about this I suppose I could say that um, I have heard that the, even the um, the outdated version of Steam, that is the latest version of it, can still run on this operating system. Obviously, it can anyway. But what I, what I mean is, um, they, 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 they can st still access all the games and everything, still signing in and stuff. It, it, might, it might not be as secure. You, you, it might might still have unfixed bugs that they fixed in more recent versions. But that's what I, heard. I, I, I don't use Steam personally. Uh, but the, yeah, as I said, it's just what I've heard. Um, before I end the video, I'd just like to say, probably my favourite feature of Windows 7 is uh, this. And many people would call this a gimmick. Uh, it, it is rather useful anyway. Um, if you just want to quickly flip through your windows and... Yeah. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, so, bye for now.